guys uh welcome to another vlog i'm sorry this one's going up a little late uh it's just been one of those weeks but i'm making it happen i've got tanner here with me ah. um he's been a snooze boy so he may or may not just flop back to sleep thank you thank you mister oh good yes yawn for the vlog um so he's gonna chill here it's not really a vlog that involves him that much but he's here he's flopped down yeah yeah he's going to sleep Okay, um, so today we are going to talk about all of the ridiculous amount of corgi things that I have. <laughs> My parents have had dachshunds for a while, so we like have so much dachshund stuff. Because um, especially for a while we had two dachshunds, and it kind of just like became a thing like for people who didn't quite know what to get us around holidays and stuff that they would just like find dachshund stuff. Um, and so I've always had lots of merchandise for the dogs I have, um, and that has not changed. So let's go through some of the Corgi swag that I've got. All right, so first of all, our biggest item. Um, I found this at Home Goods around Christmas. Oh, are you coming to look? Yeah, we've got some little ears down at the bottom. Um, I found this at Home Goods around Christmas. We've got our Corgi portrait. I still need to put it up on the wall. Uh, we have been slacking with our wall art hanging lately. But I found this, I think it was only like 13 bucks or so at Home Goods, which is good value for wall art. Um, and I thought it was cute. My mom thinks that it looks sloppy because there's like the little globs of paint and she wants to go in and clean it up because that's who my mom is as an Asian mother. Um, but I like it the way it is. So this is our corgi painting. All right. Um, so that's one of the newer things that I've gotten. Um, I'll do something I've had for a bit next. Uh, this one is a pillow I got from my parents. I think I got this for Christmas, not like the most recent Christmas, but the year before that, or two years. Um, but my parents got it for me for a Christmas at least a year ago. Um, so here we've got a pillow. It's the same on both sides. Got a cute little corgi. It says hugs and kisses. And I think it's, I think it... It's Jordy LaCorgi from when he was little, but I could be wrong about that. But I thought that at least that was what my mom told me at one point. Um, but yeah, so he's on Instagram. If it is, there's the pillow. All right. Um, another thing, actually, I think this is probably the oldest piece I have, is my Corgi purse. Um, I think I think I got this from Mod Cloth originally, um, but I don't think they've had it for a bit. But I found this. And I've had it for, gosh, probably at least like three and a half years now um, because I have had it with me every time I've gone to the Portland Corgi Walk, um, which I have gone for the past three years. And I can finally go with a real Corgi and not just a purse because every year I get a lot of compliments on the purse and people ask me where my Corgi is and I'm like, I just have a purse. Um, so this is my OG Corgi and it's a pretty small purse. It's doesn't get much in there. It's mostly just cute. There's a thin little pocket in the back, which you can see I have some random papers in. Um, I need to go through this. I don't even know what is in here right now. Um, and then on the inside, it opens up. There's kind of like a small little pocket. There's, is there two pockets? No, I think there's just one pocket. Um, so yeah, it is a purse that can get your phone and maybe, maybe a small wallet. And that's pretty much it. Um, but it's cute. Not the most practical purse, but it is cute for just a short little outing where you don't need much. Okay. And then, um, let's stay with the, let's go back to the, the home stuff. Um, and I've got, of course, one of those little corgi planners that you see all over the internet. This one has an air fern in it, um, which I need to water. And do you want, hello? Hello, friend. Hello. Hey, don't eat his nose. <laughs> Um, yeah, my dad got this for me and the air fern and I need to water it. It is quite dry. Don't look too closely at the air fern, but it's a cute little corgi planner. And yeah, air ferns fit pretty well in it. You might be able to get a succulent in it. It's for small little plants and also for Tater to try and eat the nose off of. Don't eat the nose. Don't eat me. I'm a friend. That. There's probably other stuff that I'm not thinking of that I have, but I tried to go around and round up everything that I could think of um and I hope this is most of it but there could be more there could be a few other things that I've forgotten um and then oh these guys 
So these are the Unicorgies by, hey, this is not a dog toy. This is a dog that is a toy for people. Um, I got these from Squid Brains on Etsy. Um, she did a Kickstarter and it's like the only, hey, don't bite his, or this one's a girl. Don't bite her foot. Um, it's like the only quick Kickstarter I've ever contributed to, but it was just so cute. And there's other stuff I got too, like little pins and stickers and stuff. Um, oh, I guess I have stickers, but like, I can't show off stickers very well. Anyways, um, but yes, yeah, so there's our stuff, but these were the main attraction. Um, so this one is based on her corgi banjo, and he's got a little blue horn, and then he's got little wings, and then he has his little toe beans. Um, I think the main one's a heart, right? Is it a heart? Yeah, it's a heart. You can see it easier. Meh. It's a heart. Believe me on this. I'm having a hard time showing it off, but trust me, it's a heart. Um, so there's this one, and then I have the girl one, and her name is Luna. Yeah, this one's name is Luna, but it looks like you, not like you're Luna. Um, and she has a little, like, lavender horn, and um, the other difference besides her color, because she's the black-headed dry and Banjo's red, um, is that she has little pink toe beans. Other than that, they are pretty much the same, um, but they're super cute and they're super soft. And she's got a bunch of other really cute stuff on Etsy, so check out her store. It's Squid Brains. So these are the unicorgies. Don't eat me. And get okay, now back to clothing. Um, so we've got a couple of Pavlov the corgi hats. Um, Pavlov's another Instagram corgi. So he has dad hats and beanies. Um, and I have, we have two of the hats and then one of the beanies. Um, I couldn't find Alex's hat. It's the same one, it's just in khaki. So he's got the khaki, I have the pink. And it's kind of interesting because it's got a different little flappy thing in the back for the adjusting. It's like a little lifty thing. I don't really know how to describe it, but it's it's different. It makes it look a little, a little more expansive. Um, but yeah, so we've got that in pink and he is a cute little splooty boy on it um, and I got these like after we had after I um, put down my deposit for Tater because I knew that he was gonna be or whatever Corgi would know he was gonna be a he then but um, we knew we were getting a redhead try and Pavlov's a redhead try and I was like well now we can have merch that looks like him god I look so tired right now oh should put some makeup on. I'm doing, I'm looking pretty rough. I'm feeling pretty rough. It's been a long week. Um, and then there's the beanies. So we've just got maroon. I got this for Alex for winter, for when his dad hat isn't quite cut, cutting it for warmth. Um, but yeah, so it's got the same little embroidered Pavlov on it. It's just on a beanie instead of on a dad hat. But you can see they're the same. So shout out to Pavlov. Um, and then I've got shoes. I haven't worn these yet. I got them and then it's been winter and gross. Um, so I haven't wanted to wear them because they're like pastel yellow and then the tongue's white. Um, so I don't want to get them all dirty. But these are knockoff Converse um, with corgis on them. I got them, got them from Groove Bags online. Um, my mom found the website. And they have a ton of different dog things. So she sent me this and pointed out and they were on sale. So I got them. Um, so it's got a bunch of different colors of corgis. There's some taters on there. So that's what he's going to look like when he's a big boy. Um, but yeah, they are cute. I look forward to wearing them once it is nicer out. And I can have my corgi feet going on. Yeah, it's you on a shoe. When we got him, he was the size of my foot, like his body, but he is getting so big. You're so big, but you're still a baby. Hello, friends. Um, what else do we have? Oh, okay. I've got two more things. Almost through all of the gorgeous stuff. All right, so next item is these. So the, I've got two pants type items. Both of these I saw on Instagram from other Korg moms and had to get them as well. Um, so this is a pair of pajama pants. Well, I guess they were they were advertised as like sweater leggings, but they're they're pajama pants. Um, they've got a drawstring, and they're Christmassy. 
And yeah, they're sweater material, they're knit. Um, so they're nice and warm. They're really good for winter, and which is good because they are Christmas pants. Um, but yes, they've got little corgis on them and trees and some snowmen. If I come up closer, you can kind of see the material. Um, but those are super comfy and these are from, they're from American Eagle, right? Yes, they are from American Eagle, which I had never bought anything from American Eagle before, but I went there because I had to get these. I saw them on Instagram because that's how I live my life. I see pants on Instagram and then I go and buy them because they have dogs on them. This is who I am. Um, and then this I also saw on Instagram from other Corgi mothers. Um, so these are leggings. These are more traditional leggings. They're soft, kind of fleecy material, um, but they are very much leggings. Because those other ones are like pajama pants or like joggers more, but these are definitely leggings. Um, these are super Christmassy, so we've got like a navy blue background. Where are you going, dude? Um, we've got corgis on sleds, little Santa hats and candy canes and snowflakes. So very Christmassy can't really wear them all year round. I could, I probably will, um, in the privacy of my own home possibly, but not really pants for going outside, but cute. Um, and these were from Walmart, which again, don't really buy stuff at Walmart very often, but I had to go and look for these and it was definitely worth it because they were like $5 and like 25 cents or something. They were super cheap. Um, so I was out with my dad and we decided to go there because um, we were nearby Walmart. And then since they were so cheap and they had them in a few sizes still, I got a pair for my mom so she can embrace her core grandmotherhood. Um, but yeah, so that is the last of the corgi items that I can think of at least that I have. I am sure that there's more stuff that I'm forgetting. Um, but yeah. I have a lot of corgi items and I'm sure I will only get more because most of these things I got before we even had Tater. So now that we have him, I'm sure people will get me even more corgi stuff and I will just have all of the corgi things. Um, and then there's, oh yeah, I guess there was also some corgi stuff that I featured in our uh, puppy supplies haul video. Um, so like his corgi things blanket, literally corgi things, um, that's the name of the store, <laughs> and the little corgi butt pouch. Um, but yeah, so I think this is pretty much all the other things I can think of. Hi back there. Um, but yeah, so thanks for watching our vlog. Um, if you've been enjoying our videos, make sure to hit subscribe. <laughs> Are you going to sniff mom's butt? Subscribe for Tater so you can watch him sniff my butt, which sounds kind of weird. Hey, Tater. He doesn't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. Anyways, thanks for watching. Bye.